Rasal University Online Educational Channel. Experience optimal online learning. Oh, hi! I'm Ted Nagent. Brother Gino here. Miss Alex here. And, and we, we are the EdTech Ed Team. Hello! I'm Sir Ted. Miss Anna here. Today, we are going to introduce you something new about Canvas. Let's go and explore with us. What is LTI in Canvas? LTI is short for Learning Tools Interoperability. It is a standard that provides plug-in capability for external applications. Within Canvas, a system that uses LTI is often called an external tool. Sometimes known as Canvas App, third-party plugins, or simply LTIs. The first LTI is EdPuzzle. It is a free assessment-centered tool that allows teachers and students to create interactive online videos by embedding either open-ended or multiple-choice question, audio notes, audio tracks, or comment on a video. Formative assessment tools for a teacher who ran a flipped classroom, assign videos for homework, or want to encourage asynchronous communications. How to integrate EdPuzzle with Canvas Want to use EdPuzzle with Canvas course? It only takes a few clicks to connect your account. But the question is, how? So first, let's open our Canvas course account and then start by opening a course card in the Canvas. So I will be using this one. And now let's check to see if EdPuzzle is listed in the sidebar. Yes? So if EdPuzzle is not listed, just simply go to the settings. Click on the Apps tab. Search for EdPuzzle app in the App Center. Type it in the search bar or scroll down until you find it. But I will just simply type EdPuzzle. And then, click the plus add up button. This will open a pop-up window. Now, you need two pieces of information, the consumer key and the shared secret. To find this inform information, open a new window tab and let's go for edpuzzle.com. Log in. I'm a teacher. And then sign in with the Google. So welcome to Edpuzzle. So as you've observed, just simply on the left side, there is my classes. And then click plus button. Look for Canvas. Set up Edpuzzle. Now you have your consumer key and shared secret key. So let's copy first the consumer key. Let's go back. Let's paste and then copy the shared secret and then paste. Click the add up button. So let's try to refresh the page. And now add puzzle is already in the sidebar. So let's have to embed the Edpuzzle in our module. So I will create an assignment. So I will name that one as a synchronous since Edpuzzle is very good in creating or having discussion in a synchronous. Let's add the item. Let's edit the assignment page. Then submission type, external tools. Let's look for the Ed Puzzle. Now I will select this video. And then next. And then assign. Let's check. Let's mark check load in the new tab and then select. So do you have already the link of your Ed Puzzle? 
and then click the save so since we checked the new tab so it will load in the new tab but if you want to embed that one inside the canvas now let's go back to our module edit the asynchronous assignment page and then unchecked the load this tool in the new tab and click save now your ed puzzle is present in your canvas course assignment which is named asynchronous Now, you are ready to use Ed Puzzle. The second LTI is Google Drive Cloud Assignment. Cloud Assignment is an online embedded assignment using the Google Apps external tool. This assignment type creates a view of the assignment file that acts as a template for a student's assignment submission. Accepted assignment types are the following. Google Docs, Spreadsheets, and Presentations. Features and Benefit of Cloud Assignments Instructors can select Google Assignments as an external tool when they create a new assignment, which enables, first, file attachment to an assignment so each student gets their own copy to edit and submit. Second, missed citation checks and possible plagiarism with the originality reports feature. Lastly, students can submit drive files to canvas assignments then instructors can grade in split grader good day everyone we will now explore the lti integration google drive cloud assignment i am sir Jerry ted to explain to you about google drive cloud assignment in canvas in creating a google drive cloud assignment there will be an integration between Canvas and the Google Drive applications. Here are the steps. In Google Drive, we need to first be sure that you, we are going to log in in our school Google account. Next, make a template of the assignment or worksheet. Accepted assignment types are the following, Google Docs, Spreadsheets, and Presentations. Here is an example of the activity template in ICT subject using Google Docs. After that one, we are going now to Canvas. In Canvas, we need to create an assignment. In the following tabs, click Assignments. You will be directed to this interface. Next, click Plus Assignment or add assignment in this interface provide the following details the assignment name instructions points assignment group as well as display grade in the submission type select the external tool after that click find A new window will open. In this window, click Google Drive Cloud Assignment. A Google Drive link will be open. In this window, we will find the template of the assignment that we made earlier. Then, click the document, then submit. You will be returned to the previous window. Just click select. If you observe in the external tool option, a link preview or the URL of the document is shown. After that, we can edit other details of our assignment, including the submission attempts as well as the date and time of the availability of the assignment. If you are ready to publish your assignment, click the Save and Publish button. However, if you want to create a draft of your assignment and publish it later, you can click only the Save button. 
Here is the teacher's view of the assignment. Aside from the details, it includes a note indicating that students will receive a copy of this document that they can modify for their submission. On the other hand, in the student view, details are also shown as well as the note that this particular document embedded is created by the teacher is what we call cloud assignment. Students will be able to edit the document in Canvas or in Google Documents. Once completed or done, students can now click the submit button to turn in their work. One of the features of this particular LTI is the speed grader. So teachers can directly grade the output of the students using the speed grader. As well as Google files will be previewed, teachers also can use the annotation tools as part of checking the submissions. That would be all. Thank you. You got me so high.